Okay, tonight we're being sponsored by Vaseline or Petroleum Jelly because we're going to be talking about Canadian gun laws. Yes, Canadian gun laws. So if you are dealing with the Canadian government concerning firearms, you better have some KY or Vaseline Jelly. <laughs> anyway, um, just going to go over a few things. Canadian gun laws are all messed up, so um, this will not make any sense whatsoever, but that's just the way it is. Okay, first off, we have FN Fell, this one's a sporterized FN Fell, 1972 from India, and it is classified prohibited, meaning that it is grandfathered, um, and it will be a 12.5 on your PAL license or your R PAL, whatever. Um, is that one? And you can take this out to the range, can't do anything with it, has to stay in the house, locked up and hidden away forever. So there's that one. Now, this is the APR 74 MR Jagger in 22 cal. This is considered restricted because it looks like an M16. Does it make any sense? No, it doesn't. This is a 1951 SKS. Um, if you hid this part of it, it would look like an AK-47. Basically, this is the AK-47's mother or father, whatever you want to call it. Um, works similar anyway and um, AK-47 is also and is to um, any of the other uh, manufactured AKs like Romanian and all that it's all prohibited that falls under the same class as uh, the FN which doesn't make any sense anyway this is not restricted not prohibited I can own this go hunting with it anyway and all the um, this is limited to five rounds. Any center fire is limited to five rounds. Now, this is um, Ruger 1022, 30 round clip. It is rim fired. It is not required to have any mag restrictions. Um, does it make any sense? No, because this could still kill. I don't understand, but anyway. Okay, now let's get into it. I recently let my POL, possession only license, li uh, take two. I recently let my POL license lapse, so the government says I can no longer have my 12.5 on my firearms license because I let my license lapse, so they want me to give this away or sell it, but I cannot have it anymore because I let my license lapse. Okay, no big deal. I'm not emotionally attached to this rifle. Um, I love the 308 round, the way it shoots, but you know, what are you going to do? It doesn't make any sense. But, they will let me go out, right after I get rid of this, they're going to let me go out and buy an AR-15 or a CZ-858, which you don't need a restricted for. It looks just like an AK-47. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Now, the sister to this APR Jagger 74, uh, I think it's called an APR 80, if I'm not, um, not mistaken. It's an AK-47 look like. And because it looks like an AK-47, it is prohibited. Now, recently, this has been challenged in court, Supreme Court of Canada, and it's won. Um, but the RCMP do not recognize the Supreme Court of Canada, and they will not change their ruling um, on the AP seventy four, right, AP eighty, APR eighty, Jagger, the AK forty seven look like. But now this is the part I don't get because it looks like an AK forty seven is prohibited. Now, what about the CZ858-2? 
It looks exactly like an AK-47. It takes AK-47 uh, type mags. I think they're a little bit different. Um, but it's not even... The Dash 2, which has the hardwood stock on it, is not even restricted. So um, it doesn't make any sense. This, because it looks like an a, uh, M16, is restricted. No, it's kind of...